Well, welcome back to Shop Raw. I'm your co-editor, Aisha, and I am joined by Julianne Wolfgram. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and we'll just jump right in and get to know Julianne a little better. So what is your full name and your role at GCC? My full name is Julianne Wolfgram, but I go by Julie. Although recently it's been a little confusing because we have several Julies on the board. Julies, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, my role at Glendale, well, um, I originally started and I still do continue to teach the uh, non-Western art history classes. Um, I helped develop uh, the complete non-Western survey, the 115, um, but I continue to teach the Asian art classes. And I have occasionally had the privilege and the pleasure of teaching uh, the arts of Mesoamerica, which I know it seems a little bit off because of my training, but it's it's really applicable because of, of my personal experiences in the region. So um, I, I enjoy teaching those art history classes. My role with the guilds, um, well, honestly, I originally became involved when I learned that um, it was possible to become a member of the California faculty teachers, you know, the CFT um, uh, part-time faculty committee, which is a standing committee um, where part-time faculty uh, from across the straight state meet and discuss all of the issues that um, part-time faculty are encountering. And of course, wow. every district is different. And so maybe some districts encountered the problem and they solved it, resolved it, or maybe this is a new issue that we need to think about. And um, when I had that opportunity, I kind of grabbed at it. And so I started out that way. I mean, obviously I was a member first, but then I got involved with uh, the CFT part-time faculty committee. Um, I've, from that point, I've always uh, worked in conjunction with the second vice president of our guild. And when the opportunity came and, and the position was open, I was urged that I should apply for the position. And so that's where I'm at right now. Um, the second uh, VP for part-time faculty. Awesome. I mean, so it sounds like I, my next question was like, what motivated you, right, to get into the second VP position? But it sounds like a mixture of like committee work and just like people calling you into it. Is that is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah. People calling me into it. And, and honestly, um, I started out my career as a college professor as a full-time tenure track. Mm-hmm. And I really, truly was not aware of all the issues mm -hmm. that, that plague part-time faculty across the state. And um, I am kind of all about social justice. And I thought that that was totally unfair. Uh, <laughs> and when I decided to become part-time, then I decided to start advocating for equity. Yes. I think a lot of people can relate to that, especially a lot of our part-time instructors who do a ton of organizing work and also yes. like, yeah, a lot of um, work in the communities, right? And then they also teach and that's very and integral. In districts and, exactly. and they're in many cases treated as second class citizens. Unfortunately, yeah. And doing the majority of the classes <laughs> for the districts that they teach in. So I mean, it sounds like you have so much knowledge about just being full-time, being part-time, working with the Guild and working and organizing. So where can people find you if they have questions about these things? Well, um, the easiest way to communicate with me is through the Glendale um, email. <laughs> so that is uh, jwolfgra at glendale.edu. Um, I do have an office that I share with my part-time colleagues. Um, in, uh, well, gosh, they changed it. It used to be Aviation Arts, <laughs> and so now it's Tongva uh, 105. Um, but honestly, since COVID, I, I'm rarely there mm -hmm. um, because I'm involved in a lot of different things. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe think of it as my chair is, is <laughs> looking upon me. And so she's been offering me some 100% online classes. And so it's actually easier to get in touch with me through my email address. 
Okay. Yeah. And we see that a lot. The students like um, the asynchronous options, the synchronous options online. Um, and so, yeah, we kind of split our time now on that. I'm a DE librarian, so I get it. <laughs> this is kind yeah. of like what we do now. <laughs> Uh, so now that folks know about you, they know a little bit about your role in the guild and also where they can find you pr predominantly via email. What is one thing you want folks to actually do now that they know about uh, a little bit more about the guild as a part timer, perhaps, um, or your work specifically as second VP? Take my place. Oh, that's a big call. <laughs> yeah. I I really, I'm going to put out the call, please, uh, when we ask for task force members, when we ask um, for people to participate in committee work, um, it, this, this is the way things get done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, from, from the local level all the way through the state level, it doesn't happen because one person has a single complaint. It's because committees are formed, they, they um, examine the issue, and then they make a plan. They strategize, okay, how do we work with this plan? But without that committee, it's not going to happen. So um, like I did, I guess, that's kind of how I got started with the Guild at Glendale, um, become active in uh, the task forces or the committees. Um, we do have a, kind of a, a it, it was a task force, but uh, we're still working for parity, part-time faculty parity, and uh, we do need uh, input always. Um, what are your, you know, your concerns, your issues, what have you encountered that always helps so that we are better prepared to push forward uh, to uh, gain equity. Mm -hmm. Okay, big call, folks. So get involved, <laughs> take Julie's place, yes. but also let her know in her current role what's going on with you. What do you need? Where are you at? And especially Absolutely. following these initiatives you have already been working on. So sounds like a lot, but I think it's a reasonable ask from our membership. And I, I know I'm excited to get more involved in the Guild as a newer person, too. So I hope you all feel motivated um, straight from Julie here. <laughs> so thanks so much for sticking with us at the Shop Raw and stay tuned for more from Julie as we continue to release our issues throughout the year. Thanks so much. Thank you.